morning ladies how's everybody doing today if anybody's going to join me today thank you if not i'm more than happy that you're watching this later that is perfectly fine with me um i you know i hopes to have people hop on the lives so we can have some interaction but it's not necessary you can always watch these later um so Again, I apologize for last Thursday. We were supposed to talk about essential oils. And, um, you know, I had ended up not doing that because I was telling you guys about something that happened negative to me. To me. And I just really wanted to recap on that real quick. Because, um, you know, sometimes, even myself, I have, to I have to learn to trust myself. So, I was telling you I was in this group. It was full of negativity. Um, that I had a hard time getting rid of that negativity and, you know, that it was making me question myself, the, like, I'm not good enough, I must have done something wrong, and I told you, you know, just recapping real quick that, you know, those were my, um, your sacral and your soloplex um, root chakras that those affect, so those, I knew that was what I had to work on, and um, so again, I was just struggling with the intuitive side of me said, just get out, stay out, don't go back, it's too negative, and then my brain kind of side was like no you've made a commitment you need to stick it out you know make it work and so um you know I was kind of like really struggling with that and so hi Aunt Wendy lots of love um so I was struggling with that decision and so I told you guys that I I was going to pull a card from the messenger deck for myself and um so I did and I read it for you guys and um Again, I kind of got caught up in the reading it for you guys. And so I said, well, I'm just going to put that card aside and go back to it later. All honestly, I didn't go back to it later because partway through the day, I, partway through the day, um, I just realized that the answer was right in front of me because the card that I picked, if you guys remember, was... Um, reveal your truth was the meaning of it. And my truth as what I'm trying to explain to you guys and to share with you guys is going with that intuitive side of myself and not the brain side of myself. So even though there was a whole bunch of words on that card with, uh, you know, meaning and everything, the answer was really just in the name for me. So I am going to go with my truth. I'm going to go with my intuitive side. So I am going to leave the group. So I just wanted to touch base with you guys and let you know how that followed through because sometimes, you know, the answer is not just right in front of us. Um, sometimes it takes a little bit of work. Sometimes it takes um, a minute for it to kind of the light bulb to come on. I don't want to say think through it because that, again, is kind of your brain side. And, you know, we, we don't want that brain side always to be taking over. So that was just wanted to let you know. Um, that's what happened with that. But today's is about my top essential oils. So, hi. <laughs> and um, so we're going to go over just a few quick things before we get into talking about the oils. There are a lot of different things that you can do with oils. And I'm going to just kind of touch on um, a few of them real quick. Um, one of my favorite things to do with an oil is I have a little diffuser necklace. I think I paid like $20 for it. Again, nothing expensive. Um, let me try to open it here with fingernails. It's not always easy to do. And it comes with these little pads, just like the card diffuser I showed you. It comes with these little pads that you put the essential oil on. And then you just put it in there and close it and you wear it. So you have that aromatherapy with you all day. Um, so that is one way. That's one of my favorite things I like to do. Um, is where that um, one of the other things is lotions this one I have here is just a regular lotion I bought at a store and you just put a little bit of lotion in your hand and then you just put a couple of drops one you know with essential oils always start less because you can add more start with one maybe two drops um, and you know you can just rub it wherever you need it depending on what you need it for so if it's pain on your knee you put it on your knee um, I put it on my face and I'll tell you about that in a second as well 
Um, the other ways are a diffuser, which I have my diffuser going over there. Uh, let me see if I can just kind of put a few up. And, um, sorry, see my bar bingham. Um, I don't think you're seeing it. No, nope, you're not seeing it. It's too low. Uh, let me come down here. Again, you're not seeing it. Sorry. Yeah, you can kind of see the little lights right there on it flashing. Sorry, not a good picture. Anyway, I'll put you back where you belong. All right, so diffuser. So again, water, a um, few drops of oil, um, and again, depending on what you're looking for. Um, in my diffuser right now, I just put cinnamon in it because even though it's like 500 degrees right now, we are coming into fall, believe it or not. So um, I wanted just to put some cinnamon in it. So I just did it for the smell, just, you know. Um, cinnamon has many, many purposes. Um, that is not one of the ones on my list, though. But I do use it quite a bit. Again, got my loose leaf tea this morning. All right, so, um, and another way is um, the charcoal discs that we talked about. Um, so I'm going to just light this one. Hopefully it'll go. There it goes. All right, so that's going to take a second to get going. And you'll see it smoke, so just bear with me on that. All right. So, again, you can um, put it topically on you. Um, I always suggest using a lotion of some sort. Um, you know, I, I put it in my face moisturizer. Um, you can put it in regular lotions. You can put it directly on your skin. A lot of essential oils are very, very strong and are going to cause you to be sensitive to that. So if you choose to do it directly to your skin, again, start with a drop. Start with somewhere that, you know, not your face, you know, start maybe on, put a little on the inside of your wrist and to see how it's going to affect you. Um, sorry, it's really hot in here. Um, see how that's going to affect you. So, um because you know you don't want to rub this all over you and then find out that you you are having a sensitive reaction to it that would not be very nice um so topical um the just the diffuser um the necklace um i'm going to put it on the charcoal disc for you which i don't think is going um the other thing is that i really love is i have the wool um dryer balls and I put the essential oils right on there. So um, depending on what I'm doing. Um, so if I'm doing my towels, um, Eric and I both take our showers in the morning. So um, I use a nap oil for that. I use a different oil for our bedding. So I'll get into all that as well. Sorry, I'm kind of jumping the gun here. So my number one favorite oil is lemon. I've had this bottle for over a year and it's down to about here but I use this every single day and sometimes multiple times a day this is what goes on my necklace two reasons one mostly because I just love the smell of it but two it's an energy oil um, so anything in the lemon, citrusy, um, you know, um, category is going to be an energy um, oil. So, um, you know, lemon, um, I have one that's just citrus. I have orange. I have, um, you know, different kinds of orange oils and stuff. But this is always my go-to. And it's because I just really, out of all of the um, energy blends, this is the smell that I like the most. So this is what I use. And again, you know, there's really no necessarily right or wrong way. Um, there's ways that will not necessarily work for you. Um, like I said, I don't put these on my skin directly, but I do know someone who does. She rubs them all over herself. She doesn't have any problem with that. And that's fine. Um, I also know people who ingest essential oils. My recommendation on that is don't. 
pure essential oils ingested are most likely going to make you nauseous. And who wants to feel nauseous? You can buy capsules on Jade Bloom. They do have empty capsules that you can buy and make your own, um, you know, put your essential oils in them and ingest them. Um, I just choose not to. Again, a lot of essential oils in a, a strong, pure form are going to make you nauseous. So if there's something that I want to ingest, I turn to my loose leaf, loose leaf teas. And again, at some point, we're definitely going to talk about those. So um, I just keep that separate. So I use my oils for aromatherapy and for topical in whatever form that is. Um, and like I said, there's endless forms. Um, I had a bracelet that had lava beads on it that you can put the oils directly on. But my granddaughter decided she liked it, so she took it home. <laughs> Mimi will get a new one. Um, so, lemon oil. All right. So, basically, like I said, I just love the smell, and it's for energy. But just to kind of cover some of the other things that it's good for. Um, it's good for any kind of skin infection, acne, greasy skin, um, things of that sort. So again, if you are having problems with um, greasy skin or acne, just take your normal lotion, put a little side, a little bit in your hand, start with one drop. If you can use it and that's no problem, then you can maybe go to two drops. You don't really need more than that um, if you're just doing your face. Um, and, you know, that's going to help you. Um, the other thing it really is good for is if you have brittle nails. Um, Normally, I do have really brittle nails, but I have my nails done, so I can't put it on my nails. Um, it's good for coughs, head colds, and sinuses. So again, you know, putting it on um, the diffuser on your necklace or in the diffuser um, in the, um, the, the actual diffuser the, the, where you put water and everything in. Or this morning, I'm going to just, and again, I, you know, videos you can't smell, but guys, I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to just put a drop on my charcoal disc here. So there, a little drop of, that's why I have you guys a little lower today, because I want you to kind of be able to see kind of what I'm doing here with all these different things. So lemon, and again, it's, you know, Jade Bloom, uh, not super expensive. Um, I think it was under $10, um, and really good for a lot of different things. Like this, if you look at it, has a lot more uses than what I've put down here. Um, but I've put down the, um, you know, the, the top uses that it's for. So skin infections, acne, greasy skin, brittle nails, coughs, head colds, and sinus issues. And it's an energy. And, um... Anything in the citrusy field can tend to be a little sexy as well. So, ladies, wear your lemon. So next, I'm going to go to my secret, second most used oil, which, believe it or not, is frankincense. I use it all the time. So, frankincense. The one thing I do want to say is if you are pregnant, do not use frankincense. It is not recommended to be used during pregnancy. Okay, just want to cover that. Um, but one of the only oils, I mean, I'm sure there are plenty others. So again, if anyone out there is pregnant, um, I know I do have, um, my stepdaughter is pregnant right now. So if you ever want to use essential oils and you are pregnant, Certainly look into that um, and find out which ones are good for you and which ones are not good for you while you are pregnant. All right. So one of the biggest things that frankincense is typically used for is arthritic pain. Um, that is one of the reasons I bought it because I do have arthritis in my hands and during the winter time, it's really rough. And again, I just take a little bit of my oil. A little bit of my lotion so just a little teeny amount right there and take my frankincense 
this one comes out fast. I don't know why some come out really fast, some come out really hard. Um, so one drop, that's just one little teeny tiny drop is all I put in there. <coughs> put a drop of it on the charcoal as well. It's going to smell so pretty. All right, so put the oil and I put the lotion and you just kind of rub it together just to kind of mix it. And then just rub it in. And, you know, usually for me, it's my knuckles. Um, so that is what I bought it for. But after researching it and reading what um, frankincense is good for, it's good for a couple of different things. Um, it is really good to use during your menstrual cycle. It's also really good for um, facial as well. So um, you can use it for wrinkles, which is what I typically have been using it for right now. Um, <clears throat> so I, again, just face lotion um, and I put just a little bit of face lotion in my hand and then one, one drop um, of the frankincense. Like I said, that one for whatever reason comes out fast. So sometimes I get a couple more. I haven't had any sensitivity to using a few more drops. Um, so I could if I wanted to, but I don't think I really need to. Um, so for facial, um, for wrinkles, um, and then it's also really good for scars. So again, um, you want to, if you're going to use it in any kind of topical, you want to use the lotion, some sort of lotion. I don't care what kind of lotion. Um, if you were going to ask me what kind of lotion, I would tell you to look for something that's a natural, like this is an ocean mineral lotion. Um, if you're like, I just don't know where that is. I can't find that. You need to buy something at the store. Um, my recommendation would be if you're going to have to buy something at Rite Aid or Walmart or something like that is to buy Neutrogena. Um, Neutrogena is about one of the best um, products out there as far as what you can buy in a store. Um, there are definitely a lot better products out there, but as far as buying something in the store, um, Neutrogena is going to be your best bet. So if you're looking for what kind of lotions to use, those are my recommend recommendations. But if you got a bottle of lotion at home, um, Bed Bath & Beyond or whatever it is, you know, you can certainly um, use those. Don't You don't have to go buy anything if you don't need to. So frankincense for menstrual cycles, arthritic pain, facial um, for wrinkles, for scars, it's also a really good anti-inflammatory and it's great for your immune system. So again, if um, you with the arthritis, I think it just kind of goes, you know, usually when my arthritis is acting up, my hands kind of get puffy and swollen. And so it's just really good for that as well. Um, so that's pretty much about frankincense and it smells pretty good. It's definitely a woodsy, earthy smell. Um, so again, like if you wanted just to have just the smell in the fall time this would be a nice one to use because it just has that nice nice earthy tone to it all right moving on to number three now I bought this years and years and years ago before I found um, Jade Bloom and before I found um, Sage Goddess but again essential oils last forever so this was a company that I was buying for because I was just buying them kind of on um, on the internet, wherever I could kind of find them at a reasonable price, I would, you know, scour the internet looking for um, good prices because essential oils can be very expensive. But they don't need to be. You can buy pure essential oils and not have to pay an arm and a leg for them. So don't let somebody tell you if you're not paying a good top dollar, you're not getting a good oil because I don't think that's true. You can certainly do your research on it yourself, but in my opinion, that's not true. Peppermint is number three on my list, and this is a huge bottle. <laughs> this is what you typically get from Jade Bloom, and this is a bottle I got online. But um, I've had this bottle, again, for a couple of years. I'm trying to see where the line is. I can't really tell. But it's a ways down. 
think it's like down in here. <laughs> so peppermint, I use a lot. And why? Again, it's an energy. Um, so that's what I was telling you. When I wash my towels, um, I have those wool dryer balls that I use. I don't buy scented like fabric softener or scented beads or dryer sheets or any of that stuff. They all have chemicals in them. It's just the bottom line. They have chemicals in them. So I buy the dryer balls and I put my essential oils on them. So if I'm going to do towels, Eric and I both take our showers in the morning. So I just think it makes sense to just have an energy oil on, you know, aroma on the towels. So I use the peppermint. So I'm going to put a little drop of peppermint on our disc. So peppermint, the number one reason I bought it was energy. And I bought that bottle, like I said, years um, before, when I was just starting to learn about essential oils. And um, so I didn't really know a lot, and um, but I knew about peppermint. So that was one of the ones I bought first. Um, peppermint is also really great for headaches. Um, again, any kind of pain. It's really good for bruises. Um, so if you have a bruise, again, take a little bit of lotion, a little bit of the peppermint oil, rub it right on the bruise. Um, it's good for itching and it's good for, um, sciatica and it's good for shingles. So all those things, um, you can use again, before you use it, don't go put it right on. If you got shingles, don't go put it right on your shingles and then find out after that you're allergic to peppermint oil. <laughs> Try it somewhere you know, on your wrist, on the back of your neck, somewhere that, you know, it's not going to drive you crazy and it's not going to be visible if you don't want it to be. Um, you know, you don't want to put it on your face and then find out that you're going to have this big reaction and walk around with your face all broke up. Um, anybody can have any kind of allergic reaction to anything at any time. And something that you were not allergic to 10 years ago, you may be allergic to now. So again, Unless it's something you, you've been using right along, check it on your wrist first. Um, it's just a safe rule. It only, you know, takes one day. Put a little bit on your wrist, walk around. If by noontime, you know, you are fine, then you're good to go. Um, one of the other things that I use the peppermint for a lot is mosquitoes and ticks do not like the smell of peppermint. And where I live, ticks is a big deal. So um, I put my diffusers, if we're going to sit on the porch, I put my diffuser outside with us and I fill it full of peppermint and run it. Um, I do put a couple other things. There's citronella, there's lemongrass, um, there's other things that um, mosquitoes and ticks don't like as well, but that they did not make my top list. We'll talk about them all, I'm sure, at some point. This is just, if you're going to be a beginner, and you need to know what oils to start with. These are the ones I would recommend. These are the ones I would say start with first. Unless you tell me that there's like a specific thing that you are looking for. Morning, Paula. Unless you tell me there's a specific thing that you're looking for, um, for use. And then I'm, you know, I'm, I'll direct you to the oil that would be best for that use. But if you're just starting and you want to start your collection and you're not sure where to start. These are the ones, these are the ones I would suggest you start with. A lot of these are very multi-purposeful. So, um, again, you don't need to buy an oil for every single use. You can, you know, mix and match these and, and mix them up. Um, like I said, the lemon is good for your skin and the frankincense is good for your skin. If you want to put a drop of each, you can do that. You can mix them up. It's perfectly fine. Again, just test it on your wrist. That's a test it, test it, test it. All right, so we're moving on to number four. Again, this is before I found um, Jade Bloom and Sage Goddess. So this is a lavender that I bought. And um, so again, it's a very big bottle. It's going to last me forever. Um, I've had this one for a couple of years. It's down to about right here. And I use these all the time because you only need a drop or two. You don't need to take the, like this has got a big dropper in it, but that's because it needs to get to the bottom of the bottle when, as you use it. Um, but if I was going to put it on my dryer balls, that is about how much I would use. I'm going to put that drop on the chocolate disc here. But 
you can see it's just like right there it's just a very it's just the tip you only need a drop or two um, so you don't need to go crazy um, putting a ton of oil on things these will last you a really long time um, so lavender it is for the number one purpose I bought it for is relaxation lavender is very calming it's very soothing um, if you have any kind of trouble um, with stress anxiety sleeping anything like that it is going to help um, so the other day I washed all my bedding on our bed obviously and um, for that on the dryer balls the wool dryer balls I put um, the lavender on it so when Eric and I get in bed um, you know it's a very calming um, restful relaxing um, environment in there that's if you want to I have insomnia so anything that's gonna help me sleep um, you know, is a bonus. Eric hits the pillow. He's out. He's done. I hate him for that. <laughs> so lavender, again, it has lots of different uses. Um, the number one reason I bought it is relaxation, but it is also good for bruises, which you remember peppermint was too. So you could mix and match those. It's good for headaches, which again, so was the peppermint. It's also good for insects. Um, it's more for insect bites. So if you kind of have a bite, um, you could put a little bit of lotion with some lavender and put it on the bite. Um, but again, um, we saw that peppermint was good for itching. So again, these are multi-purposeful. You can use, you know, you can mix them up and match them. Um, lavender is really good for some menstrual, menstrual pain. So if you're having some cramps, um, again, you can put a little bit of lotion on your hand, put the drops in. And rub it on um, those areas, you know, where, you, where your ovaries and your, where your cramps are and stuff. It will help. Um, it's also really good for any kind of sprain. Um, so, again, these all have, like, a lot of different uses. Um, but um, my number one is I, I am um, really into the aroma therapy part of it. Um, I, I am learning uh, as we go again uh, on the other uses of it. Um, but when I first started out, that was what I was interested in, was just strictly the aromatherapy. And as I've been learning and, um, you know, going along, I, I'm, I'm interested in learning more than just that. So you're going to kind of learn with me. We'll learn together. So lavender, bruises, headaches, insect bites, menstrual cramps, sprains. And number one reason I bought it was for relaxation. Um, like I said, put it in your diffuser at night while you're watching TV or reading a book. Um, put it on your bedding. Um, if you have um, those Scentsy burners that everybody seems to buy, um, what I do is I make my own um, little melts. So everybody has probably seen those silicone um, ice cube molds that are like a, so you make an ice cube into a ball. I open that up and I, and I use the two halves. I don't put it together. I melt my coconut. I get solid coconut. I melt it in the microwave in a glass jar and I pour it into the mold and then I put the drops in that I want to use. So there's like, um, I think, so there's six molds, but it makes you 12 because I only use half. So you can mix and match them up. That's what I usually do. I make a couple of peppermint, a couple of lemon couple of mixed ones together and stuff and then you can put those once you put them in the fridge and the coconut oil solids back up you can pop them out of the mold and you have your own little melt just like you would get from you know Sensi or the store or whatever and it's good for you it's just coconut oil and essential oils there's no other crap in it um, so it's just a really clean way to get that aromatherapy into your house so again I have one in the bedroom that I have a wax, the, I don't want to say wax, it's not wax, the coconut melt, and that has lavender in it that I run in the bedroom. Um, so we're getting down to, I'm um, past my time here again as usual. So number five on my list is cedar wood. And again, this was before I found Jade Bloom. I've had this bottle a really long time and it's down to about here. So cedarwood, it's just naturally popular, um, the smell of cedarwood, believe it or not. 
it's used in a lot of um, men's colognes and stuff. So, ladies, how do you guys even use it? Making some lotion. You know, guys are, you could take a bottle of lotion and put um, the drops in it and just put it where he's going to use it. So he doesn't have to mix it every day because my husband would not do it. Um, but cedarwood is in a lot of men's colognes and shampoos and soaps and all that stuff. It's just a really natural, popular scent. Um, and that is exactly why I originally bought this because my husband loves the smell of cedarwood. So that was the reason I bought this. Um, again, when I'm doing laundry and I'm doing his clothes, I put this on the dryer balls because he loves the smell of it. But it actually does have purposes. It helps build immune. So um, if you have a low immune system, which I do, um, which is weird because I don't really get sick, but I have a low, low immune system. Um, so it helps build your immune. It also um, helps with insects. So um, not mosquitoes and not ticks and stuff like that. Um, I'll just tell you a quick story. We had, um, this spring, all these little teeny beetle things in our cupboard, in our kitchen, and we couldn't figure out where they were coming from. We could, we don't even know what they were. Um, and we kept trying to kill them. We kept trying to get rid of them. And no matter what we were doing, we kept finding more and more and more of them. Um, so I got, uh, my husband got online and he's looking at, um, you know, insect bombs and all this stuff that's going to be chemicals. It's bad for us. It's bad for the dog. Um, we'd have to wash our whole house after, um, and I just really didn't want to go that way. So I'm like, let me do some research with my essential oils. And I found that a lot of different kinds of beetles do not like cedarwood. So I took this and I washed out my cupboards and everything. And I took this and I just went down the cupboards. I opened the cupboards, put a couple drops on the top shelf, a couple drops on the bottom shelf. Um, and I went right down the cupboards. And a couple days later, the beetles were all gone. I had no more beetles. I haven't seen another beetle since. Um, so I'm going to do this again in the spring or early spring, late winter. Um, because obviously they were coming in somewhere. I don't know where they were coming in. But I'm going to use this again. Um, so a lot of different beetles, um, spiders, things of that sort, do not like cedar wood. So um, if I'm all for love in nature, but... I want to love it outside. I don't want to love it in my house. <laughs> if I find a spider, I will try to relocate him. But sometimes they just don't let you. Um, so my last oil on the list. And it's kind of got a bad rap, I think, um, by no fault of its own. But um, my last li uh, oil on the list is patchouli. And as soon as you say patchouli, everybody's like, they smoke dope. <laughs> I don't care if you do. I don't care if you don't. <laughs> That's not why I use it. I really like the smell of it. A lot of people do. Um, so if you smell somebody wearing patchouli, it doesn't necessarily mean that they are a dope smoker. <laughs> Maybe they are, but it doesn't mean they are. <laughs> um, Patchouli's number one, believe it or not, number one reason for being sold besides that people just like the smell of it and people use it to cover up the smell of pot. It's really good for depression. Now, I didn't dig into why, and if somebody wants me to, I will. And you know what? I'm going to do it anyway because now I want to know why. But that is its number one reason for being bought, being sold, is it is really great for anyone suffering from depression. Again, I bought this a long time ago when I was first starting out with essential oils, and I bought it just because I like the scent of it. And just so you know, I don't smoke dope. <laughs> Other things patchouli can be used for is it is really good for losing weight. It is really good for lowering your blood pressure. It is really good for bed sores. Um, 
It's really good for varicose veins and wrinkles. So the low blood pressure and the loss for losing weight, I would suggest using them in um, a, a, some sort of diffuser so you're getting the aromatherapy of it. For the actual like bed sores, varicose veins, and wrinkles, again, mix it with your, um, mix it with a, a lotion, one or two drops, rub it together and rub it on the area that you need it for. So I'm gonna, gonna just put a little drop here on my charcoal. So um, it's also good for um, burns and eczema. So again, I, I know I'm repeating myself, but I just wanna make it clear, if you're not somebody who uses um, essential oils on a regular basis, or if you do and you're trying something, it's an oil that you haven't used before, always try it somewhere on your um, wrist. Um, you know, like I said, the back of your neck, the back of your arm, somewhere in a small spot um, that, you know, if you are going to be affected by it, that you haven't rubbed it all, all over you and find out later that you're sensitive to this oil. Um, somebody can say, um, I eat peppermint candy, I eat peppermint, I don't know, I, um, candy is the first thing that comes to my mind, um, and peppermint teas and all these things, and so I'm not allergic to peppermint. You can put the peppermint oil on and be sensitive to it. All right, so <clears throat> I know that was kind of a lot. It was kind of quick, so just going to go over it again. Number one oil was lemon. It's an energy. Number two was frankincense. And the reason, the number one reason it's usually bought is arthritic pain, and that is why I bought it. Frankincense comes in a couple of different forms. Um, so, um, Again, if you are looking to buy a frankincense and you go on Jade Bloom, you'll see that there's a couple of different ones. The descriptions are in there for you. So you just scroll down and um, read the descriptions and just make sure it's the one you want. Um, they basically all do the same thing, but they may have a few variations. Um, and then number three was peppermint for energy. And my number one is mosquitoes and ticks. It keeps away mosquitoes and ticks. I use that all summer. I make my own insect repellent. Um, like I said, I use a little carrier oil, um, which we didn't get into, but we will someday. I'll do a whole thing on all the different kinds of carrier oils there is. So I use a carrier oil, or you can use a lotion, but I make this up in ahead, ahead of time and put it in a bottle. Carrier oil, I use peppermint, I use lemongrass, and I use citronella, all essential oils. And I put a little bit on my wrists, and a little bit on my ankles for um, the ticks because the ticks usually get on you by your ankles. So number four was, ooh, I almost threw it at you guys, is lavender. Number one reason, relaxation. I have insomnia. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Number five, cedarwood. Reason I bought it, my husband loves it, loves the smell of it. You walk by my husband, you are most likely going to smell cedarwood. <laughs> but it does have other purposes. Um, but I use it all the time. And that's what I, I say. Um, those are my top ones. These are the ones I use almost every day. If I don't use these every day, I'm something's going wrong. Something's throwing me off. Um, and then the last one was patchouli. Um, again, I like it just for the smell. I love the smell. Um, it's a deep, earthy smell along with um, the frankincense and the cedar wood. So those are earthy smells. Um, those are kind of what I get drawn to. I get drawn to um, the earth tone smells, um, not so much the florals. Um, but if you are drawn to the florals, that's perfectly fine. I mean, like I said, these oils have a lot of different uses and a lot of them will like cover the same thing. So like we said, um, you know, a lot of the ones that I went over, both there was more than one that was good for bruises. There was more than one that was good for um, 
headaches and pain. So, you know, if you just really don't like the smell of peppermint, you can you, you can find another oil that will do the same thing for you. So, um, and if you're not sure, just, again, hop on and ask me a question. I'm more than willing to answer anybody's questions to help anybody any way I can. Um, so, that is it about my top oils. Um, so, um, Thursday, um, I'm going to try to do a, a split one for you, but we'll see what we have for time. Um, cause I really want to get those crystals in for you guys. Um, but Thursday we're going to talk about Maybon and what it is and what it means and how it kind of just links to, um, today. Just a history lesson. Nothing too heavy. I'll try not to. And again, um, you know, again, if you're not on the line with my spirituality, my path, um, that's fine. Um, you know, and if it's one you want to skip, that's fine too. Um, but you know, I think the, the history of it is very interesting and, um, the, the way it, you know, falls into a lot of different, um, things for today is kind of interesting with a lot of the different holidays that I'm going to go over with you, um, how they, um, you know, have, they're kind of transformed into a lot of today's, um, holidays that have just kind of got renamed. Um, so again, just gonna, you know, teach you about that, but I only, I'm not going to go like real deep into it. I'm not going to, um, like, I'm not here to preach or convert or anything. I just want to give you guys the history. And then that's why I'm hoping maybe on that we'll have a little bit of a chance to go over the crystals that I bought, because again, they are still sitting here on my counter. I have not put them away because I want to share them all with you first. And then this week I got a whole new set of stones um, crystals. So they're, they're piling up. I need to get them to you guys. I need to show them to you. Um, so, um, and if we don't get to it Thursday, um, I think my plan will be, um, because even if we do get to them Thursday, we're not going to get to all of them. There's just too many. I'm not going to get to them all on Thursday. So I think Saturday night, my husband's going out to hockey. And if he goes out to hockey, then I, I would like to hop on and do another live for you. Um, so it'll probably be like seven ish. Um, but I'll let you guys know if I'm going to do that. Um, so hopefully a Saturday night around seven will be a little bit better for some of you. Um, so, um, yeah, so we'll go over, um, whatever crystals we can't go over on Thursday. We'll, we'll go over on Saturday if my husband goes to hockey, um, not that my husband cares that I do these lives or anything, but it's just really weird when he's lurking because he does, he'll be like walking back and forth. He'll want to ask me 10 questions when I've told him that I'm going live. Um, <laughs> I love him, but as soon as I tell him I need, I need 10 minutes, don't bother me. <laughs> he all of a sudden has 500 questions to ask me about something. So, um, I just prefer to do it when, when I'm not distracted by him. Um, so um, with that, I'm going to say goodbye to you ladies. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Um, remember, 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 be kind to each other because that lady in the grocery store in front of you that is taking forever and is holding you up and making you late, just stop and think for a minute, what's going on with her? She might be just having a really bad day. And she's just, you know, can't cope well. So before you get mad at each other, just step back and think, what's she going through? What's her day like? Um, so maybe just having a little patience with her and with ourselves, maybe that'll help her by letting her know it's okay. Take your time. It's fine. It's no big deal. If I get somewhere two minutes later, then I'm going to get there. I don't think it's going to be the end of the world. So just remember, be kind. Everybody has something going on. And if you can hug somebody, hug them. Love you guys. Thanks. Bye.